we've covered center, we've covered spread. Now for part C of this question, we're gonna do shape. And since we're dealing with proportions, this is all about successes and failures. For proportions, we have to have 10 or more successes, 10 or more failures. So what we need to do is we need to go and take a look at both distributions and figure out, based on the parameter, how many successes would we expect? 40 times 0.3 gives me 12 successes. 40 times 0.7, which is the failure percentage complement, gives me 28. So for population D, I would expect 12 successes and 28 failures. Both of those are greater than or equal to 10, so I'm good there for D. Now we need to do it for E. For E, I'm going to do the sample size 60 times 0.2, gives me 12 as well for successes. And I do 60 times 0.8, which gives me 48 failures. Again, both of them are greater than or equal to 10, so therefore we can describe that shape as uh, approximately normal. So we've now covered the shape, center, and spread of the distribution, and we're going to go ahead and move forward with part D to answer the final question.